So today I'm going to be doing a blood test called My DNA, Age, and this is going to tell me my biological age. You guys might be wondering why in the world am I doing, do I not know my age? I am 37, by the way. To some people, I'm young. To some people, I'm really old. I get it. But I'm doing this because, oh, it's a long story. This isn't just going to tell me my age. This basically is going to tell me my age based on damaging factors that have occurred in my life and damage I've done to myself epigenetically. And this is based on something called the Horvath clock. To explain how the test works more clearly, I have a few video clips here of a scientist who works at Zymo Research, which is the company that created this actual test. He does a really great job of explaining the science behind it in an understandable way. Now, just a few years ago, right here in Southern California, a scientist at UCLA named Dr. Steve Horvath, along with another group at UCSD, led by Gregory Hannum, analyzed epigenetic patterns from thousands of individuals and found something truly remarkable. What they found was that epigenetic patterns change in a predictable manner as people age. They built a mathematical model to describe this relationship and called it the epigenetic clock to refer to the fact that it is able to measure biological time looking at epigenetic change. At Zymo Research, the company I work for, we have long had a dedicated interest in the field of epigenetics. So when we heard about the epigenetic clock, we enthusiastically embraced its potential. And in fact, we built a clock of our own based largely off the ideas put forth by Dr. Horvath, and I show a representation of that here on, the, uh, on this uh, scatter plot. So what we have is the birth or chronological ages for hundreds of people in our database uh, plotted against the predicted age based on analyzing their epigenetics. Overall, this is a test that measures your age based on DNA methylation levels. When it comes to this, like I said, this is very accurate. I don't think many civilians have actually purchased this kit. I think there's very few of us. I think a lot of students um, and people studying different things in labs, I think they've purchased these things. But besides that, I don't think there's a lot of civilians doing this. But I find it so fascinating that I had to buy it. Now, I have to give you guys like a little bit of background information as to why I'm even doing this because it may seem weird. Like I said, I'm 37, but I have been having some health problems since 2010 when I had carbon monoxide poisoning. Some of you guys know this already, and by the way, I just need to throw something else out there. My name is Holly. I keep forgetting to introduce myself. I'm really sorry for my subscribers. My name is Holly. Some of you, some of my subscribers, a few of you know that I had carbon monoxide poisoning in 2010. It was a long-term poisoning, and... Since that time, I after that, during and after and everything else, I developed health problems. I feel like it did a lot of damage to my health, which could be prevalent and show up on this test. I wish it wasn't the case. I wish it just recovered, you get back in oxygen, it displaces the CO, you know, and you're all better, like the doctors say, but it's usually not like that, honestly. By the way, oh my gosh, now I'm going on a tangent. If anybody has carbon monoxide poisoning and you go... Uh, and you've been taken to a hospital, if you can go to get um, hyperbaric oxygen within 24 hours of that poisoning, you will mitigate and prevent any damage from the CO. Please be aware of that. I'm just telling you, I know that doctors don't allow you to do whatever you want when you go to the hospital, but I would demand it if I were in that situation again in my life. It would have prevented brain damage. So I just needed to throw that out there. That was told to me by the top carbon monoxide expert in the entire world, Dr. Weaver. Now, back to the other topic. So I feel like I've had a lot of damage from that. Since that time, I have also Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune thyroid disorder, and other issues like over the last year where I feel like something's really wrong with my health because I'm so fatigued and I have no energy. I don't like to talk about this because I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but I'm trying to like do so many different tests to try to like figure out what's going on. I really need to be healthy. I'm a single mom and I need to be here for my son. We don't have a lot of support in other ways. So I have to figure this out. And recently I have figured out that it's likely an infection underneath a root canal. So I'm going to be taking care of that 
finally in the next two to six months. I cannot wait to do that. Things aren't going to get better until I address like the root cause of the issues basically. Now, so I have all that going for me. And then on top of that, I think my mother smoked and drank while she was pregnant with me, which I'm sure is not good for any baby. And on top of that, I had also multiple CT scans and things like that. And CTs, mammograms, anything of that sort, those are the most damaging things to Those are very damaging to your DNA. They're more damaging than uh, x-rays. Because of all of those things, I wanted to do this test. A lot of people who know about this test, who are not my current subscribers, who might be finding this video, they probably already know about David Sinclair. He's one of the top researchers and scientists and epigeneticists studying the field of longevity and living longer. And because of him, I started taking a supplement that is like the top, 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 top supplement for longevity. We would say anti-aging. And just so you guys know, people who are my subscribers and may have not heard of it, I'm personally taking nicotinamide riboside or NR. Now, that is a form of B3. Dr. David Sinclair, who many people are following in his footsteps for longevity and anti-aging and disease prevention, they're taking the same supplement as him, which is called NMN. And just for anybody watching who's not super familiar with this, both of these substances do the same thing essentially, and they're both proven to increase levels of NAD, which is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, in the body. As people age, their levels of NAD drastically decline, paving the way and opening the doors for illnesses and disease and other issues with your DNA and loss of information, according to David Sinclair. Increasing the level of NAD in your body can really have a profound impact on your health, quality of life, and healthy lifespan. NAD is vital to energy metabolism, among many other important roles, and its diminishing level with age has been implicated in the deterioration of mitochondria. NAD boosters, NR or NMN, work in synergy with supplements like resveratrol to help reinvigorate mitochondria and ward off diseases of aging. So for many decades, scientists have known that as we get older, we lose our capacity to repair DNA. And this leads to cancer and overall aging and deterioration. In this new study, we've discovered what we think is a main mechanism that controls this process, and even, we think, some ways to reverse it. What we've discovered specifically is that when we're young, there's a protein that repairs our DNA efficiently. But as we get older, there's another protein that sticks to it, and that stops it from working. In one experiment, we fed old mice, the equivalent of about an 80-year-old human, a molecule called NMN, which then the mice turned into another molecule called NAD. Now, NAD is essential for life. And what we found out is that when you add it to the mouse's diet, it pops these two proteins apart. And this protein can now be as active as it was in a young mouse and restore our youthful levels of DNA repair. Effectively, this restored the DNA capacity of the old mice back to that of a young mouse and also removed the DNA damage that was accumulating in their tissues. In another experiment, we exposed the mice to radiation, and our treatment greatly improved their DNA repair capacity and lessened the effects of the radiation exposure. We're particularly excited about doing a human trial over the next few months and seeing if these results translate to people. I highly, highly recommend you guys watch David Sinclair's videos. You will probably won't be able to stop once you start if you have any interest in living longer and hacking your health, I guess you could say, and taking supplements to try to do so on your own, which many of us are doing. Now, I don't have any problem with the supplement that he is personally taking and studying, which is NMN. It's just that I like the supplement that I bought, NR, and if they do the same thing, I don't see any issue with it. And so the other reason I'm doing this test is because I just started taking NR and I'm feeling drastic improvement in my overall health, well-being, and my life. Like, I have never felt such a change from a supplement before. I cannot tell you guys, like, I don't understand why it's helping me so much, but, I mean, I have a feeling for people, others who have chronic fatigue, brain fog, just a lack of energy, lack of metabolism, your body is just slowed down for some reason, I think this supplement could possibly be beneficial. At least it's worth a try. To me, it is. If this supplement only helped me for like a day, I would appreciate it. It was worth it. 50 bucks for 
my supplement, that sounds crazy, 50 bucks for a good day, that's how important it is to me to feel better. And that's how like drastic, like how bad I've been feeling. If you can tell that like, I'm just grateful if it helps me for one single day, I appreciate it so, so, so much. But I've been taking it for two and a half weeks and from the first time I took it, I felt so much energy. And that night I slept better than I've slept in I don't know how long. Now, I want to explain more about it, but I'm going to have to do it in a different video. But for this video, I just wanted to mention it to kind of throw it out there. And so you guys have a chance to look up David Sinclair. And I wanted to mention it also because like I said, I just started taking it. I don't think I've taken enough to really affect my epigenetics and my health and everything based on this Horvath clock method of aging. So I wanted to do this test as soon as possible. And right now, like I'm only taking a half of a pill capsule a day of that supplement. So it's going to last me quite a while. It's not technically like $50 a month for me because I'm taking much less of it. I am going to continue taking it like over the next year. And then I'll probably retest my age on here in a year from now. The reason I'm sharing that I'm taking NR is because I want to know if by boosting my levels of NAD, if the progression of my aging will be slowed down at all. That's why I think this test could be useful. This is the type of thing that David Sinclair has been studying in the lab with mice who are administered NMN. Also, I'm not outright trying to promote these supplements to you. Although many of the scientists in this field feel it is safe enough to take NMN, as many of them and their family members take it, I still urge you to do your own research and whatever you do is at your own risk. From what I've read, although there are many people taking NMN, I think that NR, or nicotinamide riboside, is the only one truly tested to be safe in humans at this time. Both are sold online and on Amazon. Lastly, I have heard a few people mention to be cautious or to avoid taking any NAD boosters if you're dealing with cancer, as the implications of its use aren't known or could have potential to worsen your situation. The other warning is that there is potential to cause methylation imbalance while taking either NAD booster, and many people take TMG and or methyl B12 and methylfolate to hopefully combat this. The NR supplement I purchased has TMG in it already, and although this is a concern for some people, others mention that they've been taking this long term at decently high amounts and have had no issues, so it really varies and depends on the person and their health and their state of their methylation to begin with. But when it comes to my, my actual age for this, I am scared that it's gonna say I'm like 68 years old and there's nothing wrong with being 68. It's just, I don't think I should have to be that old right now. I want to really be healthy. So I really hope that it's not that bad. But for me, I feel like it could be, but we're gonna have to find out. So that's why I'm, I can't wait to do it. So I think we should get into the actual test. I hope I've made some sense. I know I've been all over the place, but I wanted to like briefly explain a bunch of little things to you guys. And I hope that I did that in a semi-decent manner. And so now let's actually do the test. Okay guys, so here's the instruction manual right here. So I need to label the blood tube with my initials and the collection date. I'm gonna have to do that inside the house because I don't have a pen here. Okay, so here's the little blood sample collection tube and there's a little spot to set it in here. Now I've got this little packet and everything just fell out of the bottom of it and onto the ground. So we have a gauze pad, a gigantic band-aid, okay, a specimen bag, fine, and alcohol prep. Okay, so it says to wash my hands, already done that. And now I have some lancets here. Oh, that did not hurt, okay. So I'm supposed to collect the blood in this little tube. This is not working. So I'm barely, I'm barely bleeding and, oh my gosh, this is gonna take so long. Use my other hand to squeeze blood.
I'm supposed to fill up this whole tube and I'm barely bleeding here. I'm going to do this, I'm trying to think, maybe I should do it on my, yeah, I'm gonna do it on my thumb. I think it's gonna bleed more for some reason. So luckily there is a spare tube and there's a spare lancet. So I'm going to just set this here. Ow. Oh my gosh, okay, that one hurt a little. Here we go again. Let's hope this works. Right in the tube. So there's also a urine collection kit, but it kind of it doesn't measure aging in the same way, but I wanted to do this one. Pretty sure the urine one would be a lot easier though. Oh my gosh, now my fingers, other fingers bleeding. Come on, go on the tube. Oh my gosh, that one's bleeding a lot. Ew, this is so gross, I almost fell. Oh my gosh, go on the tube, go on the tube. Holy cow. Okay, okay, stop bleeding now, stop bleeding. It's so watery. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really gross. Okay, help. Oh, yuck. Okay, now I'm supposed to take this and, and pour it into the collection tube, but my left hand is just bleeding all over the place, so this is not easy. Oh my gosh, look, I don't know why I'm bleeding so heavily. Maybe it's because I take turmeric. Come on, okay, so now take this off. So I'm pushing this purple thing down and it's gonna push the blood into it. Okay, so that didn't go like exactly as expected because of the excessive bleeding. My finger, my hand is so bloody right now. I'm just really surprised at how that went down, but at least it's done. And uh, in the meantime, that's all I have for you guys today. So I will keep you guys posted on the results. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please ask. I'd be so happy to help. I hope that I didn't cause any confusion because there's so many things I want to talk to you guys about, my subscribers, and then I know that this type of video will also attract people who are really interested in David Sinclair's work and other people in the field of longevity. So I really wanted to give my subscribers some background info on what's going on and what this stuff is all about. So I'll do another video to explain some more or just to follow the progress because I am doing a self experiment with taking NR or nicotinamide riboside. But anyway, I hope my results aren't too bad and I'll let you guys know what happens. Thank you so, so much for watching and take care.